All right. So in the last few examples, we looked at how we can make visualizations with chart.js, um, but we were manually typing in our data. And um, the minute we start working with real data, that's just not going to be a very good option. For one thing, um, our files are going to be too big to kind of make that a reasonable choice. Um, plus, by hand transcribing it, it's very prone to error. Um, if we want to make changes or add to our data set, we've got to manually type all that stuff in. It's just, it's not going to work. So luckily, um, we will be able to very easily load in files into um, our code and be able to automatically use those um, when we make our visualizations. Um, so a really common format, and the one we're going to focus on for this project, um, is data that's in uh, CSV or comma separated values format. It's very common and has been around a very long time. So it's well supported by um, basically any programming language and um, tool that you use for data visualization. So I went and found some interesting data here from this site called the Climate Explorer. And you can put in um, a location and then you get this sort of dashboard with these different visualizations. These are, I think, really cool. You can see there's kind of a range of stuff here. And if we click on climate charts, um, we get a visualization. Now this is actually made with chart.js, which is pretty cool um, with some a bunch of extra stuff added in here. Um, but what we see on the left is historically recorded data and on the right um, is projected data into the future. And we'll talk more about this particular data um, as we continue on. But um, it's, I think this is a really cool tool. And one of the things that they include is this download section, which is really easy to find. Um, and here we can see that there's three different um, data sets that you can download in CSV format already, which is really awesome. Um, they also include this um, Excel file, and we'll talk about that one in a second. Um, so I've gone ahead and downloaded this, and we can take a look at these. Um, in Excel. You could also open this in Google Sheets, and um, this is probably going to be the default on your computer. And just taking a quick look, we can see that these three files are all in table format. They're in rows and columns, um, and that's how CSV works. Uh, so over here on the left, this is the historical data, and we can see um, in all three of these files that the first row in the data is a header. This is really common as well. It tells us what each of these um, parts of the file are. Um, so in the case over here, we've got the year that the data was recorded and then um, uh, this kind of vague uh, name here, we might be able to guess, but we don't know what unit this is in. Um, same thing over here, you know, we've got the same sort of data, slightly different. And then this last one, we've got these very strange looking um, column headers. And this leads us to think, okay, like what's going on? How do we read or interpret this? Um, so this is gonna really vary. And a lot of the work you're gonna do in data visualization is hunting down or figuring out this kind of stuff. And it's one of the reasons why taking really careful notes is super important. Um, so in our case, we're really lucky. Um, they've included this additional file. It's in Excel format. Um, it's maybe not the best way to do this, but it does work. Um, and it gives us some notes on um, some of these terminal, the terminology that's used in the file. So. For example, here we have some column headings and um, some explanations of what those mean. It still might take additional research or digging for you to contextualize or understand. Um, and sometimes this will be done much better. Sometimes it <laughs> will take a lot of work um, or guessing and that kind of thing. Um, this one also includes some URLs that you can look at, though I found um, they don't really work. So um, again, this is the stuff you're going to run into all the time. Um, and I think it's part of the fun doing this. Um, so I, you know, I've gone ahead and sort of hunted down or figured out what some of these things mean, um, which helps me then as I go into our next examples when we're going to create visualizations from them. Um, so you'll see here, again, this is in table format. The first row is our header. And then our columns are um, the categories uh, or the things that are being recorded. And then the rows are listings. And it doesn't have to be in this orientation. Sometimes it can be reversed, but this is almost always the way that this is kind of laid out. Um, and so for example, here is projected data for 2006. Um, and then it includes these different um, pieces of data for that year, followed by 2007, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, but let's take a look actually at this file in a, in a different program so we can really see how it's actually stored because Excel is formatting it in a way that's nice and friendly for us, um, but 
in reality, what the file looks like is this. So we see this is the exact same data, um, but you'll note that everything is separated with commas. And this is where the name of this um, storage format comes from, common separated values. We use commas to um, separate the sort of cells in our data. So we still got our header up here. Then we've got each individual listing on its own line in the file. And this goes all the way down um, you know, here to 2006. Um, there's lots of ways that you can make your own data files like this. You could write them by hand. You could do them through code. You certainly can work in Excel. And Excel is a really awesome tool for this um, because it allows us a much easier format to do this. So, and, and we'll see this later on. Um, we will we'll be doing some um, additional playing with data and like adding additional columns and um, doing calculations and stuff like that. For now, um, Excel can just be a really great tool for looking at your data so you can see what's there, understanding a bit more about this format. And then if you need to, making some modifications. Um, and we'll look at some of that um, in the next couple examples as well. You will notice one thing here. It says possible data loss. Um, some features may be lost if you save this um, in CSV. That's because Excel adds like this extra layer of functionality. You can have functions and um, do math and color code and all that stuff. CSV is just straight text. There's nothing else to it. So um, if you do that work in, um, in Excel, you're going to lose some of that stuff if you um, if you save it back to CSV. So uh, we'll again, we'll dig more into using Excel and Google Sheets as tools for this um, after in the next project. Um, so that's a very brief introduction to CSV files. We're going to, um, in the next example, load this into our code and create visualization using this. And we'll also look at some of the common kind of like pitfalls and um, make some changes to this data sets that will help us make our visualizations.